Right, okay then. Good morning everybody, good morning and welcome indeed to your Friday. It's the end of August and the end of the week. And if you have any weekend plans, I hope they go very, very swimmingly. Um, thank you very much, Red Emperor. Thank you, that's very kind. Thank you for the sub, sir. So, um, yes, just to get you up, uh, well, get you all up to speed insofar as what's happening at the moment. It's the end of the third week of work on the latest YouTube project. And that project is Armour 3 Anti-Stasi Bullshittery Part 3. So I've, uh, I've, I've cut together five videos videos in a series for anti-stasi and I'm working on the third one so the middle the middle child of the whole series and uh, so far so good so just to quantify how far through I am I'm roughly I, I'm sort of working on that seventh to, uh, to eighth minute so out of ten so I'm, I'm certainly yeah, near the end of the project and I'm hoping I'll be able to get it done next week. So by the end of next week, I'm hoping that I will have it to you, uh, particularly the patrons and the Twitch subs. Do you guys get it first? Um, hang on, sorry. Let me just fiddle with the... So I'm just fiddling with the aircon because it's boiling in here. Um, so yes, so the work, yeah, work on the latest project is going fine. Uh, this week, not a great deal has happened. I've just sort of cracked on and, and edited and... Um, yeah, just, just you know, just stayed indoors. And um, yeah, we're, all's good, really. Just kind of edited away um also please know that, that yeah there probably won't be an evening stream just because i was thinking of going fishing tomorrow and my fishing gear is a mess and it's all just sort of in a big tangle and i need to sit down and have a have a you know i need to fix it basically so i might spend this evening sort of going through and and trying to learn how to tie knots and and just generally improve the presentation of my fishing equipment before i maybe go to shoreham and uh, go fishing tomorrow maybe so we'll see uh, you know i haven't haven't fully decided yet thank you doom drac and rancorus thank you kindly thank you very much why not go fishing in poop sock land instead what on earth is poop sock land 
Also, good morning, Alistair. Um, oh, Redbridge. Uh, Redbridge? There's fish... Uh, I don't know of any fishing stuff over there. Um, sorry, Red Ridge? Sorry, what are we talking about? I'm confused. Red Ridge? What's that? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Alistair. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, cracking on. So, a bit of RimWorld. Just pop the music back up. So, yes, too long didn't read for the people just joining the stream. Uh, working on anti-stazzy bullshittery part three. I'm going to need, uh, need at least another week. So, I'm yeah, I'm hoping to have it to you uh, with you as soon as I can. So, as for right now, uh, I'm going to continue the playthrough on RimWorld. So, those who are not familiar with the game at all, it's a sort of drama, adventure, survival type game in which you play as a group of survivors with randomly generated sort of traits and per yeah, personality, personality quirks and weaknesses and stuff. And they crash land on this... Rim world. So the the exact nature of the incident is not well defined. You got to sort of fill in the gaps and uh, sort of well, believe whatever you want to believe. But effectively, this large continent, this randomly generated world, uh, the same world that I've been playing for several playthroughs now, uh, it, it's seen the arrival of thousands and thousands of colonists crash landing in pods, often badly injured. They they arrive on the surface, uh, seemingly at a, at a random time and place. Uh, maybe some sort of incident has scattered survivors, like cryopods uh, from a ship that exploded in orbit. Whatever's happened, people are raining down and they're fighting over the resources of the old world. So right now, we have crashed, well technically we crash landed here, a place called Neverglade, on the edge of this swamp, so a temperate forest. But we've since left that and moved south to the river by about five kilometers because we had a, a, a dangerous threat there that we had to escape. So we fled, moved here, and set up a new camp called Coloma's Creek, named after the doctor who gave his life saving the survivors uh, from, a, from a malaria outbreak when we arrived. So it seems that malaria is a risk next to the river. So we, so we need to get anti-malaria medication. Uh, as of the last stream, we fought off a bandit attack, which proved problematic. I did play a few minutes last night just before bed, where I've just queued up getting some tiles in the main living room. And also we had a prisoner breakout, so we had to beat down the prisoners. Uh, we just gave them some bruises, uh, but otherwise they're okay. So we've captured two bandits in the last attack, and hopefully we can convince them that we're not the bad guys, and you know we need their help to survive, really. But, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. So we're just trying to live, uh, uh, do, do the best we can. It's the end of the second year, so it's the 11th of winter. Oops, sorry, bear with me, postman. Sorry about that, folks. I've just returned. Sorry, those joining the stream, I just had to pop downstairs to get to the door for the postman had a delivery that couldn't fit through the letterbox. Uh, I've just got a parcel in front of me. Bear with me. I just want to see what it is. Hang on. 
So it's about the size. It's like two shoe boxes that are stacked on top of each other, roughly. Hang on. Well, it's pretty well sealed. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Basically, I would. Uh, yeah, last week when I went fishing, I was able to get the little fish to bite. I was able to attract lots of little fish, particularly a species called roach, uh, which is a sort of common freshwater fish. But I couldn't get any of the bigger fish interested in the bait at all. So, oh dear, polystyrene. Oh dear, uh, just need to make sure that Lulu doesn't get this. So, um, I ordered a few different types of bait, you see, and this is one of them. Okay. So, I just need to be careful because I don't want to spill polystyrene everywhere. Um, hang on. Roach is a horse. Indeed, the Witcher, so the Witcher horse was named after this species of freshwater fish. Um, okay, so, let's try these. Hang on, let me just pop on the camera. So what I've ordered, I'm hoping one of these will work this time, this weekend. Um, I've ordered some uh, carp pellets. So these are, these are pellets that you basically get wet and they will expand a little bit and become softer. Uh, you put them in this pump that sort of makes them neutrally buoyant with the water because right now they're full of air. So uh, you put them in the pump, you, you fill them full of water, they expand a little bit, and the idea is that you put some in a little, uh, like, a, like a cage that's on the line, so they sort of drift into the water and make a nice smelling sort of cloud of particles that the fish get attracted to. And, oh yeah, low FPS on the camera there, that's weird. Uh, so that's one option. The other option, I've ordered, so I've got, hang on, some... Uh, something called a boilie. Well, these are these are banana flavored boilies. So they're basically like a egg and fruit mixture uh, that's sort of boiled into these. Well, they, they look like boiled sweets, and they're not they're not that dissimilar, but um, they're much softer. And again, they soften up in the water, and the, the carp like those apparently. And also a similar thing, but a sort of meaty flavor. So yeah, I'm gonna try some different types of bait and see um see if I, I have any luck this time. Sorry, I don't know why the frames are dropping there. That's a bit weird. Ha! Huh. So yes, uh, sorry to, uh, for those just joining. I just had to go to the door to get to uh, a packet that couldn't fit through the letterbox. Where was I? Yes. So uh, Rimworld. So uh, the playthrough continues. We're on the end of the second year. So it's currently the 11th of winter. There are 15. Pardon me. There are 15 days per season. So we're almost on the other side of it now. Food reserves are not looking great. We have a few animals to butcher, but we've gone through all the corn. Oh yeah, you guys getting lots of lag? On Rimworld? Or are we okay? Sorry, hang on. I think we're okay, aren't we? Might be a bit skippy. Anyway, um, so yes, we're, all, we're sort of okay on food, but we can certainly do with hunting more. And uh, yeah, hopefully soon it'll be the spring and we'll start planting some crops for the next harvest. So um, yeah, that, that's what's going on. So quick introductions to the people that are here. We have Jonah. He's a 53-year-old... Uh, evangelist preacher who handles most of the prisoners he did take some injuries yes in the recent breakout he took some injuries when he was subduing one of the prisoners because he was talking to them at the time this gentleman called fugly so um yes also please know that this prisoner uh, managed to stage a breakout in which she could have made it she could have just run for the hills but instead she stopped to beat up a camel she hates camels apparently i don't know what that's about she effectively allowed herself to be recaptured due to her, her hatred of camels. Mm. Thank you, Mspin and Ramboss. Thank you very much. And Curious, thank you kindly. So yes, Jonah, ha Jonah handles the prisoners. He's 53. He's married to Nervous Hawk over here, who's a 46-year-old food taster with a powerful left, pun uh, left hook punch that can pretty much knock out anything she hits. Uh, and she handles a lot of the food and some of the wood cutting. We have Singy. She's an 18-year-old cannibal, a very tough and abrasive tribal who attacked us initially and we eventually convinced to join us. She's currently wearing lots of uh, human leather clothes, which is quite disgusting, uh, but it gives her pleasure because she's a cannibal. And she's also the sole survivor of a recent attack we made against another bandit camp. Uh, she broke down crying in a heap and we had to rescue her, but uh, she's back and she's okay. Thank you, Dizzy. Thank you very much, Dizzy. We have Chucky. He's a 37-year-old architect and artist. Oh, dear. Dude today's upset and he's gone to insult people. Oh, dear. 
because of the death of his, his girlfriend. Yeah. So Chucky is a 37-year-old artist. I would like him to work on art to the best of his ability. But right now we need a capable builder. So he's working on the tiled floor. He's also very kind, a bit lazy, and he's also gay. We have Dude today, who's a 54-year-old cranky geologist. Uh, he mostly keeps to himself, but does a little bit of everything, really. But mostly hauling and fighting and hunting. Uh, recently he lost his girlfriend Emerald. She was one of the people that died in that failed attack and he's very upset about it. Hopefully he'll get over it. Well, in, in about a week or so he'll get over it. But um, yeah, he's still in mourning over the death of his of his lover. We have Cyanide. Cyanide is a 24 year old medieval lordling and turned weaver. So he has little experience with uh, manual labor. Uh, and he's also very, very ugly and super immune, so he gets over a lot, a lot of illnesses very quickly. Uh, he also likes to watch social fights play out without doing a thing to, without lifting a finger to interrupt. And he was also the one that uh, he was the one that saved Singy when she had a mental breakdown. He ran about four kilometers to save her. And lastly, we have Roy. Roy is a recent joiner, a 52-year-old manservant who managed to escape a bandit attack. They chased him into the camp. Presumably, they were going to kill him. And uh, he's, what is he, sorry, he's super immune, like cyanide, so he gets over a lot of illnesses. He's a slow poke, like uh, Chucky, so he's a bit lazy. But uh, he also enjoys cooking, but we don't really need that right now. Oh, he is, he's doing it right now. Um, okay, that's fine. Did, you not, did I not prioritize your cleaning? Hang on. Hunting, oh, hunting, yes. You're not assigned to cooking at all. That's a bit odd. Oh, sorry. That's not Roy. I clicked on... It's, it's the shape. It's the... Roy sleeping. I'm sorry. I looked, I looked a hawk and thought it was Roy. I'm a dumbass. Sorry, Roy's back in bed. Okay. Uh, no, I don't know who that is, Smack. Okay. So, um, yes, welcome to... Welcome to the colony. So, we're just trying to do our best to survive. And uh, so, yeah, priority would... Food would be nice. We do need food. Uh, we need to get as many of these... Yeah, tight the, the, the floors. We need to fix the floors as best we can. We need to get some other bedrooms going over here. Right now, we've got some small dorm rooms, which aren't very cozy. Be nice to get some proper bedrooms over here, you know? Um, Roy, you help subdue the prisoners. So you've been bruised a bit. Dude today is currently wandering around, upset about over the death of his girlfriend. He calls Roy Shine a bandit. He calls Fugly an Okapi. He compared Fugly to a polar bear. Okay. Do today directly insult Singy's fashion knowledge. I really wouldn't insult the fashion, uh, the fashion sense of a lady with a sword who's wearing the literal skin of her enemies right about now. Hmm? The frames are bad. Shall I drop the resolution? Hmm. I put it up to 1080. But I guess it's not li it's not liking it very well very well, is it? Okay. You think so, Agarob? Lord Aron says no, it's okay. Okay. Well, well, tell me in a bit if you think I should. I can. You know, we can drop it down to 720. Gets choppy when I zoom out. Okay. Well, that might. Is it? Is it the quick zoom? My mouse wheel is a bit. Weird. It seems to be zooming in slightly whenever I zoom out. <clears throat> well, we'll judge it in a few minutes. Okay, so it's uh, four in the afternoon. Uh, so Jonah is just resting due to his bruises. He's also suffering from smoke leaf withdrawal. We've, well, we haven't run out of smoke leaf. It's just I wanted Cyanide to do something more important. So I ordered Cyanide to go and work on making some bricks. So he's working on uh, making granite and slate bricks, which we can use to, well, replace the wooden panels around the base, the flammable wooden panels, with something a bit more sturdy. So, granite or slate. Hmm. So yeah, if we can get some double walls going on, just, just generally improve safe, uh, base safety. Wood is nice and all, but it does burn very quickly. Hmm. Anyway, I hope everyone this morning is having a lovely Friday. Welcome to the end of your week. If you have any weekend plans, I hope they go very well. So as mentioned over here, the plan is to just continue the editing on the latest bullshittery today. And uh, and then this evening, I was probably... Yeah, I did want to play with some fishing gear. Because it's currently in a horrible mess in a tackle box behind me. And I was thinking of going fishing 
to uh, t to a river uh, tomorrow, maybe. Depends on the weather. Sounds like it's going to be good. Hmm. Right, Singy the Cannibal is just working on this perimeter wall. So yes, now that we've got a nice big open perimeter bit, we can grow some crops. So I'm going to grow... Yeah, so lots of... Well, we can grow crops here, but you know what I mean. We've got rich soil. So dark soil. Um, fertility, 140%. Hmm. Hi there, Alistair. Your weekend plans are to come next to me and steal my fishing bites. <laughs> you bastard. <coughs> Thank you, Sizok. Thank you very much, Sizok. Thank you. Okay, so let's have a look and see what efficient... Yeah, we, we generally need to improve efficiency. Um, let's put down a wooden auto door here. So just as an extra sort of like in and out the kitchen, uh, in and out the freezer quickly. If we're struggling to keep the freezer cool, we can always uh, lock that one and have her use the airlock here. Thank you, Gamebox and John. Thank you, Gamebox and John. Thank you. Right. Speed up time. Uh, Cyanide's got a comfy chair at least, so he's working on his bricks. Uh, hang on, click on Cyanide. So, yeah, it seems that stone making is no longer giving him crafting leveling. I guess that was removed. Thank you, John and Gamebox. Thank you. Uh, meal wise, it's not. Oh, a boom rat has self tamed itself, designating itself Boom Rat 1. Oh. What we could do, it sounds a bit harsh, but what we could do is we could take this boom rat and train it to lunge at the enemy. Hmm. We could even, hell, we could even breed the things if we if we felt so inclined and sort of charge them towards the enemy where they would get killed and explode and hurt them. Um, hmm. Bit of a Hail Mary, you know, because you, you, they die quickly. Um, okay. Try to give it obedience and then release training. So, sick em, sort of. So it's a female. I wonder how long does it, uh, how long does it take to gestate as in to... Hang on, how many are there? Boom rats. Damn, there are no additional boom rats. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Raziel. Thank you very much, Raziel. Thank you. Hmm. They drop chem... Oh, do, do they drop chem fuel, though? Seriously? Because if they do, holy shit, that's useful. Okay, so it's 5 in the evening. Uh, no, it's not, sorry. That's the temperature. It's 11 in the evening. On the 11th day of winter. So the colony's winding down. It's about 16 degrees in the main room. About 20... Okay! Some action. It seems for the first time we've been put, we've been put under siege. A group of pirates from the Deep Muggers. So they're the bad ones. have arrived nearby. Uh, the, as in they're the well-armed non-tribals. It looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. You can try to wait them out or go get them. Oh dear. We've never had a siege before and we don't have mortars. They did bring a mortar with them. If we survive this, we can take it off them. They are very poorly armed. Machine pistols, bolt action rifles. Remember though, we had a trouble with our range, so we best outfit ourselves accordingly. So I think, truth be told, all we can really do is weather the siege. We, I don't think we should head, head out. Well, let's see where they set up. We're sleeping right now. So everyone just stay sleeping. Thank you, Basta. Thank you very much, Basta. Right, get as much sleep as you can. Let's get the animals inside. So, yeah, go back to animal area two. Um, let's make sure that animal area two does include the hay so they can eat. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, bastards. Thank you, bastard. <clears throat> uh, never mind about hunting. Let's stay inside the base now. Let's get inside and seal the doors. Um, in fact, can I just restrict everyone to the home zone? Yeah. So this all counts as our home. Uh, nobody leave the home zone. Let's stay in this area. Right, head back inside. When I zoom out, it lags a lot. Okay, I, I'm going to drop the resolution. Hang on, I'm just watching the stream. Is it Skippy? Uh, just waiting to see when I zoom out. Oh no, it's not too bad. I think it's okay, isn't it? Oh, fuck it. Let me just do it. Sorry, bear with me. <laughs> 